after going to a local search and optimization problem, let's see another type of searching, which is called adversarial search. Actually, adversarial search is uh, based on uh, game theory. In game theory, uh, actually two opponents are there, two players are there who are playing the game. And uh, at last, based on their utility function value, uh, the winner will be decided. So based on that particular concept in mind, adversarial search has been uh, prepared. So let's go into deeper what this adversarial search is and how it works. So in this, we cover competitive environments in which the agent goals are in conflict. Now, what is the meaning of this competitive environment? Competitive environment means both will play against each other and both the players will have a different goal. So one player will he want to win, another player uh, don't want to, uh, it will work in such a way so that other people cannot win. So that's why it is opposite of it. Means we can say that both agent want to win. So definitely they are conflicting to each other. It giving rise to adversarial search problem often known as games. Mathematical game theory, a branch of economics, views any multi-agent environment as a game, provided that the impact of each agent on the other is significant, regardless of whether the agent are cooperative or competitive. So adversarial search is based on the game theory and uh, both will uh, the both agent will uh, play against each other in ai the most common game are of the rather specialized kind what game the theorists uh, call deterministic turn taking two player zero sum game of perfect information such as chess in our terminology, this means a deterministic, fully observable environment in which two agents can act alternatively and in which the utility value at the end of the game are always equal and opposite. For example, if one player win a game of chess, the other player necessarily lose. It is this uh, opposition between the agent's utility function that makes the situation adversarial. It want to say that, that in this adversarial search, we are looking for deterministic move always. Both agent knows their environment and knows their environmental information, where they have to go, what are the different constraints they have, and both will try to increase or decrease the utility value. And at last, based on the utility value, it has been decided that which player wins. And if it will be decided that one player wins, then definitely another player will lose. Now we begin with a definition of optimal move and an algorithm for finding it. So we are looking for here optimal move if we have a state space tree, then if it is starting from the root node, then which particular node we have to explore next, that will be our optimal move. We then look at technique for choosing a good move when time is limited. Pruning allow us to ignore portion of the search tree that make no difference to the final choice. Now pruning is also a method here in adversarial search. Uh, it, it is useful so that if any uh, condition came where we can prune. So in that particular way, the searching tree size could be 
reduce so that we can avoid some of the nodes in the tree. Why? The reason is because they cannot participate into the final choice. The heuristic evolution function allow us to approximate the true utility of the state without going to complete search. Now here we'll use heuristic utility function, which has some utility values by which we can decide that from one state, if we want to go to the goal state, so how much it will cost. Now let's see a different type of notations in adversarial search. A game can be formally defined as a kind of search problem with the following elements. So we have some elements S0, which is denoted at initial state, which is specify how the game is set up at the start. Player P defines which player has the move in the start. Action A returns the set of legal move in the state. Let's say I am in one state. So how many legal move I have that will be decided by actions A. Result SA is nothing but the transition model which define the result of a move. It means if we apply the transition function here, so we can reach to another state. So if we are in the state S, we perform some action, we can reach to another state. Terminal test, so a terminal test which is true uh, when the game is over and false otherwise. So always the terminal test will be there. So it decide that my if my game is over or not. States where the game has ended are called terminal state. We have some states which are called terminal state in our state space tree. Utility SP, a utility function. This is called utility function. Uh, where S is a uh, uh, states we have and P is the player. So player in that particular state, what is the utility? So utility function actually give us the some numeric value which will decide that what is the utility of the uh, game. So it will de design defines the final numeric value for a game that ends in terminal states S for a player P. In chess, the outcome is a win, lose, or draw with the value plus one, zero, and minus one. So if we have, let's say, plus one as a utility value, I'll decide that I won. If I have zero as the utility value, I decide that it has been drawn. And if I have the value minus one, it will be decided that I lose. So this is the way how utility function work. These are all notations related to adversarial search.